I'm Superintendent Andrew Jackson, Jr., proud pastor of West Urban Church of God in Christ, along with my lovely wife, Lady Sandra Jackson. And we want to take this moment to welcome you to our wonderful worship experience at West Urban Church of God in Christ. Even though the pandemic has caused us to do business as different, but we thank God for connecting with you all over this country, whether by YouTube, Facebook, whatever platform you're on, we welcome you. Thank you again for coming and being a part of our service. We pray that you will have a wonderful time with the Lord with the West Irving Church and the message of our illustrious pastor, Superintendent Andrew Jackson, Jr. Thank you. Enjoy and give God the glory. So gather your family around your TV, your iPad, your computers, and let's have a worshipful time with Jesus because West Irving is the church where Jesus is real. Let's go to church. Amen. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. There's power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. No other name I know. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Let us bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. No other name. No other name. Oh, no other name under heaven can save us. Jesus. Jesus, no other name I know. Bless the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, everybody ought to praise the Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands, everybody. Praise the Lord. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. Come on and put those hands together. Come on and let's make some noise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We bless your name on today. Oh, come on, come on, West Irving. Come on, West Irving. Come on and lift up the name of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. We magnify you today. Hallelujah. We welcome you to the West Irving Church of God in Christ here in the city of Irving, Texas. You don't want to be any other place than right here with us on this morning. As I have stated plenty of times on our streaming broadcast, that there's a lot of other ministries that are going forth, and we thank God for them, that the word is still going forth. But it's something about when the saints of West Irving get together. It's something about when we come together as a body of believers. I know you can hear the horns blowing in the background because we're together today. On this last Sunday of 2020, the Lord has been good to us. Glory to your name, God. We have no sad stories to say on today. Through it all, God has yet kept us. 
We thank God for his healing power on today. We have testimonies and great, great testimonies out in the, in the crowd on this morning. And we thank God for his healing power. We thank God for opening doors. We thank God for making ways. We thank God for just being God to us in this season. We thank God. So on today, we have a un, an unusual service today. But this is our last service for 2020. And we thank God for our shepherd, our leader, our very own Superintendent Andrew Jackson Jr., our First Lady Lady Sandra G. Jackson. We thank God for our leaders on today. Bless the Lord. So on behalf of our leadership, our Superintendent and our First Lady, we welcome you to today's live streaming broadcast wherever you're looking at us at. If it's on YouTube, if it's on Facebook, I need you to do three things for me. Like, comment, and share because we want people to hear what we got going on over here in the city of Irving, Texas. So stay in tune for the word of God that comes forth today. Today is our communion Sunday, amen. So we have our communion service going forth in our parking lot service, and we thank God for our great leader, our visionarian for this ministry, our pastor who found it not robbery for us to come together, even though we're not in the building, we're still together with one another on this last Sunday. So we thank God for the vision of our leader to do this on today. So again, I say to you, our viewing audience, or if you're here, welcome to the West Irving Church of God in Christ and on behalf of our leader, our shepherd, Superintendent Andrew Jackson Jr., our First Lady, Lady Sandra G. Jackson, we welcome you to the West Irving Church of God in Christ where Jesus is real, amen. We're gonna go a little further in our service. We're going to have our prayer coming from our youth pastor, Elder Christian Williams, and our scripture reading from Elder Chris Davis. Let's receive them in that order. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us go before the throne of grace in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you on today. We recognize, God, that you are a holy and a righteous God, and for that we give you praise. We worship you for being the great I am. We worship you, God, because you are God, Jehovah. And God, we thank you because you're ever present with us. Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for the sun shining. We thank you, God, for air to breathe. We thank you for the use of our limbs, God. You've been so good to us, and for that we say thank you. Now, Master, we ask that you bless us on today, God, as we've gathered together, God, as we've social distanced, God, but we are here collectively, God, to yet give you praise, God. Now, Father, we ask that you touch and keep each and every one of us, God. Bless our hearts, God, to draw close to you, God. Because, Father, we understand as we draw nigh to you, you will draw nigh to us. Now, Father, bless, God, those that will speak today, God, those that will sing, God. Bless this service, God. Let it be of good effect, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch us now, God. Bless, God, this communion service, God. Let us continue to keep it sacred and holy in our hearts. Now, Father, bless our pastor. Bless our first lady, God. We thank you for good leadership, God, at this church, God. Look on all of our members, God, our brothers and our sisters, God. We thank you for making us a family. Now, Father, keep us together. Bless our homes. Bless those, God, that are watching, God, all over this world, God. Let us continue to draw us closer together in unity and through love. Now, Father, we love you, and we thank you for this time. We ask all of these blessings, and we seal it with praise. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, 
ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. This is the word of the Lord. There is power, power, wonder work and power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder work and power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there's power, power, wonder work and power in the blood of the there is power, power, wonder work and power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, power, wonder work and power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder work and power in the precious
each and every one of you on today to this service. However you're being with us virtually or you're driving in on the parking lot, hallelujah, yeah, we're keeping it safe. We're doing what we need to do, mask and in our cars, space six feet apart, hallelujah, and even more than that, in our cars, we have on our gloves. We're just going to do it, amen, because we want to stay safe. God has blessed us through this year, hallelujah, hallelujah. We have not lost a member, hallelujah, to this pandemic, to this virus, glory to God, I thank God for it, amen, 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 amen. So excited. Those of you that are listening in, amen, you are welcome. You are welcome. We're so excited to have you be a part of our service on this day, the last Sunday service of 2020. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Amen. We welcome you on behalf of our pastor, Superintendent Andrew Jackson, Jr. We say welcome. You're welcome to be a part of this service, wherever you are. If you're in your home, if you're in your cars, join in and let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. If you can see me on today or hear me on today, hallelujah. God has been good to you. You ought to give him some praise. He's worthy. Oh, yes, he is. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We invite you, praise God, to just... Join in with us, amen. Sing your song, praise God. Give God your praise. Why don't you give him a dance on today? Hallelujah. Let him know how grateful you are in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you don't have a church home and you're by chance looking for a church home, we invite you to continue to watch the West Urban Church family by way of Facebook or YouTube, or we usually announce that we're having a parking lot service. Amen. You're welcome to come and be a part. And if you pray and ask God where he wants you to be, and if by chance he says it's West Irving Church of God in Christ in Irving, Texas, we say hallelujah. And all you have to do is look on our site. You'll be able to let us know that you are interested in becoming a member, amen, at the West Irving Church of God in Christ uh, website. And we will be able to take you in virtually as well as being a part here of any service that we have here on the parking lot until God tells us it's time for us to go back into the building. We love you. We thank you for being a part of the service again. And we say hallelujah. And we want you to have a wonderful and a prosperous new year. In God's name, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you. Amen. Amen. that you can give today. First, you can go to GiveLify and search for West Irving Church of God in Christ and select how you would like to donate. You can also go to the church's website, westirvingchurchofgodinchrist.org and go to the donation button and you can give your donation there. And finally, you can send your donation through the mail. Please do not send cash. You may send a check or money order to West Irving Church of God in Christ, P.O. Box 842, Bedford, Texas, 76095. Let us pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace once again. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for what you've done in our lives, what you're doing right now, and the expectation of what you're going to do in the future. And now, Lord, I ask that you bless this offering. And every giver, everyone that had, has made a sacrificial giving today, Lord, I ask that you bless their households. And those that do not have to give, Lord, I ask that you give them peace 
and comfort that surpasses your understanding. And God, for those that have a need, I'm asking that you meet the need. If they need a job, I'm asking that you give it. Lord, if they need financial blessings, I'm asking that you give it. Lord, if they need healing in their body right now in the name of Jesus, I'm asking that you give it, Lord. Bring down the Shekinah glory upon your people, Lord. Allow them to look to you and say, God, I know you're there. God, I know you can help me. God, I know you're going to bless me. Right now in the name of Jesus, thank God and bless this offering. Thank God and amen. family thank you so much we we are here gathered in the presence of God there's nothing better than the presence of God this has been an unprecedented year and so much has happened but when we think about it we realize because he lives we can face tomorrow we can face any obstacle any issue no matter what it is we can face it through the name of Jesus by the power of his blood and that no matter what comes, no coronavirus, nothing can separate us, as the word says, separate us from the love of our Father. And so we're just grateful for this last Sunday of the year. Some people hadn't made it, didn't make it, but we're so grateful to be a part and to be in the land of the living. Just one more time. Thank you, Father. Thank you. 
Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Come on, give the Lord a horn blow praise. Come on, give the Lord a Bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, give God some praise today. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we thank you this morning for your grace and mercy toward us. On this last Sunday of the year, we give you praise, glory, and honor because it all belongs to you. And Father, we stop by today just to say thank you. Thank you for your loving kindness toward us, your tender mercies, your hand of deliverance, protection, and healing. And I thank you for those who gathered on the parking lot on this last Sunday of 2020. We've had some challenging days. The songwriter said, I've had some good days, I've had some bad days. But thank God, all of my good days, come on somebody, all of my good days, all of my good days, outweigh my bad. And Father, we thank you for your glory today. And as we commemorate you, your death, burial, your body that was torn and beaten and resurrection through Holy Communion, we pray that it will be a blessing to those who will partake. Those who are watching online, we pray, God, that even as they gather their families at home, that they too can partake with beverage and bread in honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Somebody make the devil mad and give God a horn blow praise. There you go. Make him mad. Bible says make a joyful noise unto the Lord. It talks about using instruments and even in our 21st century the Bible never said use the horns of cars but it said let everything that have breath. So I believe these cars have breath through you and it's an expression of your gratitude and when the devil hear the saints with one accord God begin to heal he begins to deliver and set persons free. One more time, give God a hard praise. Let the devil know. I give God praise. Hey, 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 praise. Anyway, I can exercise a praise. We do it to the glory of God on this morning. Well, this morning we're going to have communion. And right before we do, let me just appreciate this year all of the saints of West Irving, our friends and family, those who have been supporting the ministry this year, even during these difficult and challenging days. Uh, this has been a trying year, saints, like we've never seen before. And yet God is still the God that we worship and serve. Let me make something very clear to you. Oftentimes we say it's been rough, people have died, yet God is in control. Let me add a caveat to that. God is only in control of your life if you let him. Let that sink in. We talk about what God is in control. Well, he will, God is a supreme power, but he will not bombard your door of your heart, crash into your home without you inviting him in. So yes, God is in control, but he's in control of your life if you only let him in. Come on, somebody. And yet he allows things to happen. But God did not create coronavirus. God did not create sickness and disease. That was done by the devil. And yet God allows things to happen in this world because he is the God that can allow things to happen. And yet, He's still speaking to our hearts. I submit to you today, if you want God to resonate in your life, then let God control your life. He's in control, and he wants to control your life. Make sure you find yourself before this end of this year, 
allowing Christ to come into your heart. Communion. The communion service is very special. If we prepare our hearts today, we talk about communion and oftentimes we read the scriptures where Jesus took the bread and the, and the wine and blessed it and he gave us his disciples and oftentimes we misconstrue and we think taking communion is all that it takes. Drinking the cup, eating the bread. That does not create relationship. That does not create a relationship taking the bread and drinking the cup. When Jesus says, partake of my body and my blood and the suffering, he goes beyond just the temporal, what you see, the cup and the juice. He's talking about a connectivity in the spirit where we enjoin our spirit with Christ. That part of the suffering, that part of the connecting is what Christ refers to. And yet, in this day, he says to be emblematic of what he did. The cup, the bread is a symbol of our relationship with God, yet it does not seal the deal. What seals the relationship is you opening your heart and allowing Christ to come in. Then the scripture says in Revelation chapter three and verse 20, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him. In other words, fellowship with him and he with me. Communion is a wonderful symbol. It is not a ritual. It is not a ritual. It's an ordinance that Jesus established. Don't get caught up on it being a ritual. It is not a ritual. It's a gift of receiving for the believer. Amen, somebody. We receive that gift of communion. We receive that bread and that juice, emblematic of what Christ did on the cross and yet he tells us we cannot reign with him unless we suffer with him yes, suffering by partaking of his body and his blood as he applied to your life you repent of your sins open your heart and allow Christ to come in that my friend is what Christ would rather have beyond this cup that we're about to drink out of and this bread, he'd rather have a relationship. So many people are drinking of the cup, eating the bread, and don't have a solid relationship with Christ. The Bible says because many who do this, they sleep. That means they drink and eat of this cup and this bread unworthily, and they are asleep among you. That simply means their life is snuffed out. Don't be guilty of drinking and eating of the body of Jesus Christ and his blood unworthily. Let a man examine himself. Examine your life. Take a retrospective view of 2020. So many wanted to give up this year. So many got discouraged and said, Pastor, I just can't make it. But you still hung on in there. And I thank God by the grace of God, I'm still here by the grace of God. And as we prepare today to partake of God's and Jesus' body and blood, I want you to examine yourself. Examine your life. Many have gone. Many lives have been taken. Many have suffered, lost loved ones. Even in this parking lot, you've had family members who succumbed to COVID-19. We've had family members to contract the COVID-19. We've had friends who lost their lives. We've had people who are still suffering that we personally know dealing with this pandemic. And yet we believe that through the precious blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed, we are healed by the wound in his side. 
Y'all believe y'all are healed by Jesus' blood and the wound in his side? You believe y'all healed by the wound in his side? He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. And yet, we are still here by the grace of God. We take communion to memorize, to remember, should I say, and honor what Jesus did. Guess what? Don't call it the Last Supper. I call it the Lord's Supper. When you call it the last, that means there's nothing else. This should be a supper that we continually partake of over and over and over. I know we talk about the last supper, and that was the last physical supper that Jesus had with his disciples. But he tells them, as often as you do this, the supper is not the last. It continues. It continues daily. Those at home tonight, this morning, if you didn't make it out to the parking lot, please get some juice, grape juice if you have it, preferably. If not, get some juice. If you don't have juice, get some water. Gather your family. If you're not here, get some bread, some crackers. And prepare, as we prepare to break bread together and drink together. Our fathers did not eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave bread from heaven and given life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Scripture reading, Luke chapter 22, verses, starting at verse 14. When the hour had come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. Then he said to them, with fervent desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of it, of the fruit of the vine, until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let 
us pray. Dear gracious and eternal God, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for life, health, and strength. God, we thank you for this time of fellowship, God. We thank you for this feast that we are about to partake in on today. A symbolization of you giving your life for us way back on Calvary. God, as we take this body and drink of this blood, God, we ask that you continue to strengthen us and bless us and help us ne never to forget the great sacrifice that you have given for us. God, we thank you for everything you're doing. We thank you for everything you've done. And we thank you for the things you're going to do. Now let this be nourishment to our bodies, God. Strength to our souls, God. And God, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the blood. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I'm going to ask if you have not received any sacraments from the elders, just toot your horn and they will serve you. Everybody should have received one as you entered into the gate. But just in case somebody did not receive your sacraments, just toot your horn and the ministerial staff will serve you. congregation in fellowship during COVID-19 and certainly the shelter in place. And I want to appreciate the intelligent people in our world who created social media because there are some smart people, much smarter than me, that have kept uh, this service, our ministry, out in the forefront of you, the members, the community. I want to appreciate the media team in our church, the public relations team who have continued to work hard in utilizing the social media platforms available to us. So thank you, media team, for your hard work and your diligence. Thank you, Wes Irving, for your continued support. Uh, we have purchased uh, multiple equipment this year and uh, to make sure that we are staying on top of what we're trying to do. I don't know what 2021 uh, promises us. But one thing we do know for sure, uh, God will keep us. And on that night, as Jesus gathered his disciples, he took them and shared with them that he will be leaving them but he encouraged them by having prayer and he blessed the meal they were about to receive from him. After giving thanks, he took the bread and he broke it. You have bread in your hand. I pray that you have prepared yourselves in your heart through prayer. Take this bread, which represents my body that was broken. As often as you eat it, do it in remembrance of me. Let's all eat together. The Bible says, after the same manner, he took the cup. He described the cup as 
the New Testament of his blood. As often as you drink of this cup, the cup of suffering, do it in remembrance of me. Let us all drink together. Oh, the blood of Jesus, wash this white as snow. Nothing but the blood. I know it was the blood. It was the blood that was shed. Give God a horn praise right now. I know it was the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know. the blood. It was the blood. I'm going to ask the media team if they would just take a shot of the parking lot and uh, certainly just scan those who have been sharing today uh, in this final Sunday morning service of 2020. God has blessed us, brother, from a mighty long way. And those who came out today, it's so good to see everyone. So good to see the saints. And that makes it worth the while to come today to have the saints on the parking lot. I see the young people, the young adults, the children. I see our church mothers with us today. God bless our church mothers. Amen. I see them today. And let's keep in prayer Mother Hampton, our church mother who had surgery on last week. And keep her in prayer that she have a speedy recovery. Lift up Elder Tyrone Woods and Brother Jamie Simon. Lift them up in prayer. Lift up Elder uh, Galloway Jr. Amen. That God continue to bless and touch his body and his family. We just thank God for the blood of Jesus. I know it was the blood for me. The blood came streaming down. The blood came streaming down. It came down. The blood came streaming down for me. One day when I was lost. He died upon that cross, and I know it was blood for me. Everybody sing, I know. I know it was the blood. One big choir. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon that cross, and I know it was the blood for me. I know it was the blood, everybody. I I know. I know it was the blood. I know. I know no, it was I the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon that cross. And I know it was the blood for me. I hear you, Sister Sarah, back there. I hear you, Sarah. I hear you back there, Sister Sarah. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. It was the blood. It was the blood. Savior's blood, my Savior's blood. 
watch out. Y'all better watch out. Y'all better watch out. Yeah. Yeah, it was the blood. It was the blood. It was the blood. Hallelujah, it was the blood. I feel like preaching right now, but we're going to let y'all go. I know it was the blood. It was the blood, it was the blood, it was the blood, it was the blood. It was the blood, the blood came streaming down. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to let y'all go home. I want you all to know that, Sister Jackson, I love you all to life. We love you all to life. And we're going to do something when you leave out. We want you all to leave out one exit. The reason why, we want to see everybody. This is the last Sunday of the year. And we're going to have y'all leave out this gate. We're going to stand at the front gate, my wife and I, and just say hello to you all as y'all pass through the gates. Follow the direction of our parking lot team who have done such a wonderful job. I appreciate them. Uh, our Deacon brothers have been working. Deacon Davis, Deacon John Beach, Deacon Sam, Deacon Boyd, they have been working. And we certainly honor these women of the Lord who have been working, missionaries, on today to help us. Missionary Young, thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. And all of our team members who have been so uh, so consistent, the choir, the ensemble this year, Minister Jermaine, and the musicians, and the team of singers. Thank you, Missionary LaDepra Henderson with the ensemble. Thank you, Sister Valerie Williams, our finance chair, who has made sure that we have kept the church supported and before you every week to continue to give and support the ministry. Thank you to all of our media team. Just I appreciate you all hard work and diligence. Most of all, thank you, Wes Irving. Amen. You guys are the best. Amen. Not just in the West, but you're the best of all times. And from the bottom of our heart, we appreciate you. I appreciate my, my wife and my family. And certainly during these trying days, we thank God for keeping us all together. We're going to ask you to, as we dismiss, uh, follow the directions of our parking lot committee. They will guide you out of the lot, and then you can go home and have a good time with your family. This uh, Thursday night, Thursday night, we will be having our watch night service. It's going to be virtual. It'll be online, so stay tuned to watch it live online. Uh, we'll be a late starter around 10 o'clock p.m., but we're going to praise God until the new year. So stay tuned for our virtual watch night service. Stay tuned for e information from our team as we gather together to praise God in the old and praise God into the new. So may God watch over you. May God keep you unto him that as we gather ourselves together, Sister Jackson, before we dismiss, Yes, ma'am. I just want to personally say to all of the members of the West Suburban Church and to all of the supporters, we've gotten a lot of support from people that have not even are not even members of our church, are not even members of our church. We want to say thank you to them, but I want to let West Irving know that together we are getting through this pandemic. I feel your prayers, and I know many of you feel the prayers of the saints on those days when the enemy would try to cause us to be depressed or things like that. If God puts one of the members on your heart, reach out to them. All, I, I'm telling you, when God does it, it is for a reason. Amen. Call them. Send them a letter. Send them a word. Whatever God says for you to do concerning that person. We will get through this together. You know, unity was our theme a few years back. But we, it was for coming up to this point. So let me tell you, West Urban family, and I don't use the word family lightly, we will make it through this together in your homes, families. Be together. Don't let the enemy divide you. When you see the pressure coming on, begin to pray with each other because we're going to make it. Oh, yes, we will. And we're going to have testimonies that will blow the minds of many members. So y'all just keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on, West Serving Church of God in Christ. We love you. We are praying for you. You all continue to pray for us. Cannot say it enough how much we appreciate the support that continues.
continues in this God family. God bless you. We love you. We love you. We love you. God bless you, First Lady Jackson. And we're going to uh, make sure that uh, at the end of the year that we close out strong, close out strong, knowing that God is our strength. Perhaps somebody wants to join our church. You're not a member of anybody's church. And you say, I want to be a part of West Irving. I need a pastor before the end of the year closes out. You can join our church. Those in the parking lot who are not members, you can certainly see one of the elders with the collar on, and they will assist you. Or perhaps you're watching online and want to join our ministry. Just type in the chat box or go to the inbox and end message. And the ministry team leader from our church will reach out to you. You can join our church and be part of our e-church. If you're in a different city, a different state, certainly we can certainly honor you and welcome you to our body as an e-church member. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. Unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above. All we ask or think according to the power that worketh on the inside of you. To God be the glory, to God be the honor, and to God be the praise. In the name of Jesus, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. For the things he has done. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For the things. Bless you, saints. We're going to praise God as you enter out the gate. We're going to have the praise lead us. Lead us in some praise. Be the glory. Hey, the very first row, stand still. The very first row, stay still. Thank <laughs> you. 